All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're alive, and it's time for the Marcus Alfred Show. It's our prediction episode. You know how we do. We come in here with our non-expert advice, and we come in here and make predictions for uh, different uh, wrestling events and pay-per-views. So this week, uh, we are doing Ring of Honor's Final Battle 2022. Featuring uh, Chris Jericho defending the ROH World Heavyweight Championship against Claudio Castanoli. And we got a bunch of matches that's going on, and we're going to go through each of them as soon as possible. Uh, the show is Saturday, December 10th, and I believe uh, the, the full the, the main show starts at 4. They have a zero-hour show at 3. So we're going to try to go through each match, including the zero-hour matches and make our predictions so join us kick off your kick off your shoes and relax your feet and party on down while we hang out with these predictions because we just kick in just kicking anyway we're gonna run off and go through these matches zero hour we're gonna try to go through pretty quickly because they're zero hour matches they're not really going to do much storyline wise they're just kind of just matches thrown together to see if you can get as many ring of honor people on the show so anyway We've got the kingdom taking on top flight. Um, I'm glad top flight is both healthy. That's awesome. Congratulations. I, I'm always nervous about them, but I'm going to go with the kingdom. They need to win here. I mean, they're, they're, you know, I don't know. They're, they're there. I mean, it was a nice little pop when they debuted, but then it was like, okay, what's up? What else? And that's pretty much how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick the kingdom here. Uh, Mascaro uh, Dorado taking on Jeff Cobb. I This one, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't even know Jeff Cobb was in the town. And then all of a sudden, they kind of dropped this on you. And you're like, whoa, Jeff Cobb's a big deal. Why are we not talking about more of this? Um, kind of disappointed in that. I mean, I'm hoping Jeff Cobb gets the win. But cool. But yeah, this is kind of a... Kind of a, a sleeper one they kind of just threw in there. I'm like, yo, Jeff Cobb, big time. But you know what? Screw it. They got it. Jeff Cobb is there, and he's going to do the damn thing in that zero hour. Uh, Daddy Magic and Cool Hand. Oh, my God. 2.0, whatever they want to call themselves. Taking on Shinobi Shadow <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna go give it to the JES on that one. There's no, 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 I'm not gonna, no, skipping past that. Willow Nightingale versus Trisha Dora. I can't wait for this match. I'm pumped for it. I think they're gonna give it to Willow though. Willow is the ROH talent, and I'm hoping that they give her some more wins because I'm a big Willow stand, damn it. Give Willow some time. Yeah, I'm picking Willow. Uh, all right, now we go into the main show. We have Blake Christensen uh, and AR Fox taking on Drillistico. Okay, and Roosh. Uh, I'm I'm assuming Roosh is going to get the win here. They've kind of been positioning him as a you know good a big top dog in the main in the middle of the card. So I don't think they're going to really ruin his momentum here. Uh, it's nice to see Blake Christensen and AR Fox on, uh, you know, TV somewhat. It's pay per view, so I mean, still, still good to see them on pay per view. That's a good, so big sign, big deal, big deal there. I'm happy for them, but I think Rush is gonna get this one. He's gonna shine. Uh, Shane Taylor and JD Griffey taking on Swerve in Our Glory. I honestly don't know what to think here. Last time I checked, Swerve in Our Glory weren't even cool. Now all of a sudden they're in a tag team match on pay per view. Uh, uh, I see this not ha ending well for uh, Keith Lee. So I don't know. I don't know, man. This is weird. Like really weird. For Swerve and our glory to to be together in a match. Just, no, I think I think uh, Swerve's gonna turn on Keith Lee this time, and it's not gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna take Shane Taylor and JD Griffey. Although I just okay uh don't castle and the boys taking on the gates of agony and brian castle 
I mean, I see Dalton Castle here and there, but I don't, I don't, I need to see more Dalton Castle on my TV. But I mean, I know he's probably been on Dark, and I know Brian Cage and them have been on Dark too. Um, I honestly don't know about this one. I mean, Brian Cage is getting a lot of TV time, but he's not winning when he's on TV. So I feel like this would be the the one that he would get the the win on. But Dolan Castle is super popular. I don't know. No, I'm going to take Brian Cage and the Gates of Agony just because it's there. I don't care. Whatever. Screw you. Um, no. It's just... I don't know. It'd be different if, if I had, like, time to watch AEW Dark and, and uh, Dark Elevation. Maybe I could f have a better vibe with them. But I don't. I, I watch TV. When I see TV, I see Brian Cage on TV, but he's losing in really high-profile matches. So I don't know. But I feel like this might be the 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 final turnover for them. And maybe they'll get this one. Being that they lost the tag team opportunity to get FTR. So we'll see. Uh, Samoa Joe taking on Juice Robinson. Let's end this quickly. Samoa Joe's winning this. I don't see Juice Robinson stealing this one away. It would be interesting. I would be shocked. But no. I don't see it. No. Sorry, Juice. In your debut match. No. Sorry, buddy. Mercedes Martinez defending her uh, Ring of Honor Women's uh, World Championship against Athena. Um... I would I would like to see Athena get the gold with this who, whole new like you know bad persona that she's got going on right now. Uh, I think Mercedes was injured at one point, so I was like, I kind of am surprised. I mean, I'm not surprised she's back, but I'm like kind of nervous. Like, what's their plan going forward with her? I don't know. Um. At this point, screw it. Give it to Athena. I'm picking Athena to win. Just for the surprise. But. Either way. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Garcia versus Lula Yuta. Alright, let's just. Let's just stop now. Let's get everybody's momentum out the way. Everybody's going to go crazy. Match of the year. Match of the I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's going to be a damn good match, though. I will admit that. Wheeler Yuta is from the great city of Philadelphia. God damn it. Um, also need to know what part of Philly he's from. I got some questions there. Um, I don't think... I don't see Daniel Garcia losing, though. Daniel Garcia is going to win and retain the title. Um, it's gonna be a good match though. I will I will say that I believe someone's going to help Daniel Garcia get the win because that's what the Jericho Appreciation Society does to protect their champions. So picking Daniel Garcia to get the win. And now we come to the co-main event of this show. FTR defending the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships against the Briscoes in a double dog collar match. And this one right here, you might as well just get all of the match of the year, the fight forever. This is awesome chance and get them stored up because that's what you're going to be saying the entire night. For the love of God, you can just shut down everything the internet's going to be tired. They're going to just be talking about FTR and the Briscoes. It's going to be pandemonium 2022 in that moment. Uh, I'm picking the Briscoes to win. I think this will be the eventual um, fall of FTR. This amazing run that they've had. I feel like this is now going to be the drop. The Briscoes are going to have the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships as they look to find their own little spacing and whatever. And they're probably going to do a lot of the YouTube until they get their TV deal. And if they get their TV deal, awesome. But, yeah, the Briscoe, I mean, Briscoes are going to have that title that way. Ring of Honor has their tag team champions. And Ref TR is now, you know, getting prepared for their 
potential free agency. And they still have what the New Japan uh, championships they got to drop, and then the AAA titles that they eventually will drop. They just became unsuccessful against the acclaimed uh, for the uh, AEW Tag Team Championships. So yeah, I think this will be their descent into Loss Central. So I believe FTR. I mean FTR is going to lose. The Briscoes are going to be the new championships or new champions, and it will let's say steal the show. Absolutely, hands down. And last but not least, the main event for the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. We have Claudio Castanoli challenging Chris Jericho for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. If Claudio wins, I will be completely confused by this entire booking because nothing about this booking has said we're going to do all of this to go back around to Claudio regaining the championship. It seems stupid. So I'm picking Jericho to win because I just don't see it happening right now, Claudio. Claudio had his moment, and I just don't think that they're going to do it again. It would be interesting. I just don't see it. If I The only way I can see Claudio winning this type of scenario would have been during the uh, Fatal 4-Way. And he pinned somebody else. I just don't see him doing this after this entire reign of Jericho. And it started with him and it's going to end with him. I just don't see it. I don't. Nope. Not at all. Um. So yeah. Picking Jericho to win. It's going to be okay. We'll see. You know Jericho's going to cheat anyway, so whatever. Blackpool Combat Club is low already on members. So we'll see how this plays out. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the show. I think it's going to be a good show overall. I'm ready to have fun watching it. Uh, Ring of Honor. And I'm hoping that they maybe announce a TV deal or even some kind of just streaming plan or whatever and go from there if, even if they go to youtube and have a youtube show i'm cool with it let's just go let's rock with it but i'm just tired of the mixing and matching of the two brands because it's just too confusing and it's confusing for not just you know the talent but for the but for the booker and for the fans, it, at, at one point, we're just kind of like, wait, what? What's going on here? Who's doing what and where? And then all of a sudden, we've got multiple championships that are kind of showing up. And it's just it's a lot. So my hope is this show just does the damn thing. We get a couple of surprises. You know how that goes. And Ring of Honor announces something that is going to be concrete for 2023. So... What do you guys think of the predictions? If you want to drop your predictions in the chat, in the in the comments, please do. S slap a like on this, subscribe. We're going to do more predictions. We have another one dropping very soon for NXT Deadline. So make sure you be on the lookout for that, man. So without further ado, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Spread love when you can. And we will see you next time. Enjoy the show. And after the show, come back and let us know what your thoughts were on the show. Love to hear from you. Take care of yourselves. Peace.